Hey guys, it's me, Mouth for Nerf. I know I haven't brought you guys a video in a while, but um, I guess it's well worth it because this one is going to be quite nice. Um, so, I've been working it quite a bit in like the past month or so. And this is my progress. At least some of it. As you can see, it's a plus bow. Not pump action, just standard pullback. As I sold my other, my pump bow, so I had to make a new... I had to make a new, um, you know, plus bow, so I decided this time I'd go pull back. And as you can see, I gave it a nice wooden thumb hole stock, which is stained ebony. It's a wood stain color in min wax. It'll be that I use min wax wood stain, and I give it a nice coat of polyurethane, which makes it really, really shiny. And I sanded it down, so it's really smooth. The polycarbonate is sanded as you can see. It has been wet sanded to 800 grit. So it's very very smooth and yeah it's still like see through as you can see. It has black nylon rods. Um, polycarbonate stock because I'm going to be adding some foam to the back of this. Once I make my next McMaster order. It has a K26 spring. Um, it has six inches of draw, but it's under of an inch and three eighths of pre-compression, which means it's basically it works the same as if it had seven inches of draw. It has one catch notch, as you can maybe see right there. And as you can see, these cuts are very straight. That's because I cut this using a Rockwell blade runner, and I'll explain more of that in the next video. But I just wanted to show you guys the blaster of this video. Now let me just prime it to show you guys how it looks primed. As you can see, the spring is almost under full compression. There's a ventilation hole right there. Yeah. It has a square plunger rod. That way it doesn't rotate. And this is quite nice blaster the priming handles rounded same with the trigger and this video is just to show you guys something I'll be making a more in that video this soon so just please comment rate subscribe and thanks for watching